today. Hey, Pine View! All right. Hey, you know what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about our learner profile. Oh, and yeah. And our learner profile for this month of September is to communicate. I see you have a book in your hand. What is that all about? I do have a book. I looked up communicate to see what it means, and it says to share information, ideas, or feelings with another person by talking or writing. That is unbelievable. I've got an example for that. Okay. When we were coming back to school a few weeks ago, I was feeling a little anxious. I didn't know what this was all about. I really don't even mind wearing my mask. We're, we are far enough apart right now that we are not wearing it, but as soon as this is over, we put it back on. But I talked to a few of my teacher friends, and they made me feel so much better. So the fact that you communicated your feelings made you feel better. Absolutely. That's great. And when we talk and share ideas and thoughts, and we can even do that by writing too, so that's a good way. Well, I think we can all become really good communicators. That is great. Now, progress reports are behind us. Hey! And we're moving forward. We've got a few more weeks of this first nine weeks. So let's push ahead. We can do it, Pine View. And we're so glad that sports is back. We had something to watch on TV. Oh, like my team winning. Yeah, uh, that was yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, progress reports are behind us. So are last week's sports. All my teams lost. But hey, this weekend, we're going to try again. Yep, we're I hope again. you have a great weekend, Pine View. Have a good weekend. Bye. Good morning, Pine View Patriots. Today is Friday, September 18th. I am Maven. I am Ava, and today is going to be a fantastic Friday. Good morning, this month's learner profile is communicator. We have some of Mrs. Otto's IB ambassadors to tell us more. Hi, I'm Cameron. And I'm Destiny. We are fourth graders and also IB ambassadors for Miss Otto's class. September is a communicator month. Throughout the next few weeks, we are going to, be, to share different examples of what it means to be a communicator. Today, we are starting with what we say when we communicate. Here's Kid President to tell you things we should say more often. We hope to hear these words and phrases around school. 20 things we should say more often. Number 20, thank you. And not just on Thanksgiving, every day. Number 19, excuse me. Number 18, here's a surprise corn dog that I bought you because you're my friend. There'll be more corn dogs? More happy people? This is a good idea. Corn dog for you, corn dog for you, corn dog for you. Number 17, I'm sorry. Number 16, I forgive you. Number 15, you can do it! But don't say it if it's something I can't do. Number 14, another thing that we should say more often. I have barbecue sauce in my shirt too. Before you say something about the barbecue sauce on somebody else's shirt, Take a look at the barbecue sauce on your own shirt. Number 13, please. Number 12, everything is going to be okay. Number 11, oh, you got me a corn dog too? You shouldn't have, buddy. Number 10, I don't know. I know a lot of people who need to say that. My sister. <laughs> Number nine, you're so awesome, I named my dog after you. Wait, wait, wait. That could hurt someone's feelings. I mean boat. I named my boat after you. Wait, who even had the boat? You're so awesome, I legally changed my name to yours. Wait, that's super creepy. It, it, just tell people they're awesome and mean it. Number eight. Hello, person i never met before. Here's a high five. <laughs> Number seven. My sports team is not always the best sports team. It takes a big man to say that. Number six. Nothing. Sometimes that's the best thing you can say. Number five. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything, but it's just really funny. <laughs> Number four. I disagree with you, but I still like you as a person who is a human being and I'll treat you like that. Because if I didn't, it would make everything bad, and that's what lots of people do in this lane. I need a water break, y'all. It's okay to disagree, but it's not okay to be mean. Number three, sometimes you just gotta scream. <laughs> Number two, life is tough, but so are you. Sometimes we all need to be reminded to keep going. Number one, something nice. 
anything. If you can't think of anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. Thanks, guys. We are looking forward to more tips coming soon. Speaking of being a communicator, next week is start with Hello Week. We are going to celebrate being great communicators by making sure everyone feels welcome and included. Each day of the week, we will do one little thing to show how we can be communicators. Make e and make each other feel welcome and, and a part of our Patriot family. Here and here are Miss Harris, or Miss Greco and Miss Harris to tell us more. Good morning, Patriots. This is Miss Harris and Miss Greco. And we're here to talk to you a little bit about next week's Start With Hello Week. Start With Hello Week is a week where we celebrate being united as patriots and also making sure that everyone feels welcome and included. So we're gonna kick off this week by doing some theme days to make sure that we're all feeling welcome and included. On Monday, it's Make a Friend Monday. So we want you to make an effort to find something in common with a new friend or maybe make a connection with an old friend. Take a picture with your friend and send it to me. On Tuesday, we're gonna do social distance greeting day. Greet your classmates in a different social distant way. For example, like toe taps, air high fives, a hip bump, or even emoji greetings. On Wednesday, it's welcoming Wednesday. So you're gonna make and wear a name tag all day so people can greet you and say hi to you um, and by using your name. On Thursday, it's Thoughtful Thursday. So we'd like you to take the time for, to decorate our sidewalks at school or your sidewalks and driveways at home by writing words, phrases, or pictures of encouragement to make someone's day. And on Friday, it's Unity Day. So show your Patriot pride and our unity of being Patriots by wearing a school shirt or as much red, white, and blue as you can. Don't forget to take a class picture and send it to me on email. So that's our Start With Hello Week next week, Patriots. Stay tuned on the new show for more information about Start With Hello Week. Have a great day. Have a great day, Patriots. Yes, I love when we do theme weeks and when we do things to come together as a school. We are so awesome. <laughs> I love when we come together to celebrate birthdays too. Here are today's birthdays. Liam M. and Miss Agavino's class. Derek R. and Miss Prinz's class. Inaya R. and Miss Bowen's class. The weekend birthdays are Zoe Lynn C. and Miss Rosado's class. Valeria C. and Miss Randall's class. Andrew G. and Miss Otto's class. And Allison L. in Miss Bowen's class. Happy birthday! Wow, that's a lot of birthday celebrating in one weekend. Let's also celebrate some of the great things that happened around school this week. Check it out! Me too. I also like, like, 
Me too. I also like getting to hear what we are having for lunch. What's on the menu for t today, Araya? Today's lunch is PB&J sandwich, their mission combo, or cheese pizza. Your vegetable and fruit choices are garlic roasted or buffalo roasted cauliflower, baby carrots, fresh fruit, flavored raisins, or juice. That sounds delicious. I wonder what my mom is fixing for lunch today. Hmm. I think that wraps up wraps it up for today. Time to stand up for the for the Pledge of Allegiance. And since it's Friday, remain standing for our school song. Patriots, we made it through the fourth week of school. And remember, we are living the question in person and virtually. Bye. 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 Bye.